Did you know that the biggest acquisition in history was valued at a whopping $202 billion? Yes, you heard it right. $202 billion? That's a lot of zeros, right? But before we get into the thick of it, let's take a moment to understand what a business acquisition really is. In the simplest terms, a business acquisition is when one company purchases most, if not all, of another company's ownership stakes to take control of it. This corporate move is as fascinating as it sounds, and it holds significant importance in the business world. You see, business acquisitions aren't just about big companies swallowing smaller ones. They're about growth, expansion, and sometimes survival. They can be the boost a company needs to get ahead in the market, or the lifeline a struggling business needs to stay afloat. Now let's imagine the scale of an acquisition valued at $202 billion. It's not just about the money exchanging hands, it's about the ripple effects such a move can create. An acquisition of this magnitude can reshape industries, influence economies, and even dictate market trends. Think about the jobs it could create or the technologies it could advance. Conversely, consider the monopolies it might form or the competition it could stifle. The impact of a business acquisition, especially one of this size, is far-reaching and multidimensional. That's the shocking truth about business acquisitions. They're more than just business transactions. They're game changers, trendsetters, and sometimes even industry disruptors. In this video, we will be delving deeper into the story behind the greatest business acquisition of all time. So buckle up and get ready for an exciting journey into the world of corporate giants, billion-dollar deals, and the mind-boggling scale of business acquisitions. Stay tuned as we unveil the details of this historical acquisition, its aftermath, and its lasting impact on the corporate world. Rewind to the year 1999, a year that would be remembered in the annals of business history. The world was on the brink of a new millennium, and the business landscape was buzzing with possibilities. The tech boom was in full swing, Dot-com startups were sprouting like mushrooms, and the stock market was hitting record highs. In the midst of this economic euphoria, an event was unfolding that was destined to redefine the scale of business acquisitions. This was the year when British telecom giant Vodafone set its sights on Manisman, a German industrial conglomerate with a burgeoning telecommunications arm. Vodafone, a powerhouse in the telecom industry, was always on the lookout for opportunities to expand its global footprint. Manisman, on the other hand, had a rich industrial heritage dating back to the 19th century and had recently made a strategic move into the telecom sector. The German company's valuable assets and robust customer base made it a tantalizing target for Vodafone. But why this acquisition? Why Manisman? The answer lies in the strategic benefits that the acquisition offered. Vodafone was seeking to solidify its position in the European telecom market, and acquiring Manisman was a direct route to achieving this. The merger would not only expand Vodafone's customer base, but also give it access to Manisman's advanced telecom infrastructure. So, the chase began. Vodafone made its move, and after a series of negotiations and counteroffers, the deal was sealed. The price tag? A staggering $182 billion, a figure that left the business world in awe. This wasn't just an acquisition, it was a statement, a display of corporate ambition that few could match. It was a bold move that not only reshaped Vodafone, but also sent ripples across the global telecom industry, setting new benchmarks and changing the rules of the game. And just like that, Vodafone's acquisition of Manisman became the biggest in history. A chapter was written in the grand saga of business acquisitions, a chapter that still stands tall, even as the world has moved into the third decade of the 21st century. Now that we've set the stage, let's delve into the nitty-gritty of this monumental acquisition. The details of this deal were as intricate as they come. The negotiations were a high-stakes chess match, with both sides maneuvering for the best position. The process was long and grueling, with countless hours spent on due diligence, assessing the true value of the assets, and determining the potential synergies. The valuation of the deal was a key point of contention. It wasn't just about the hard numbers, but also about the perceived value, the potential for future growth, and the strategic importance of the acquisition. After much back and forth, the final price tag was set, reflecting not just the current worth, but also the future prospects of the company. The implications of the acquisition were significant for both companies. For the acquirer, it was about gaining access to new markets, technologies, and resources. For the acquired company, 
It was a chance to leverage the acquirer's resources to scale up and expand its reach. But it wasn't just about business. It was also about people, about cultures merging and about creating something bigger than the sum of the parts. The reactions to the deal were varied. The business world was abuzz with speculation with analysts dissecting every aspect of the deal. Some praised it as a bold move, while others criticized it as overly ambitious. The public too had its opinions, with some seeing it as a sign of corporate greed, while others viewed it as a necessary evolution in a rapidly changing business landscape. And then there were the ripple effects. This deal didn't just affect the two companies involved, it sent shockwaves through the industry, prompting other companies to reassess their strategies, to seek out their own acquisitions, or to brace themselves for potential takeovers. As we can see, this was no ordinary deal, but a game-changing event in the world of business. With the ink dried on the acquisition papers, the real challenge began. The acquisition of Manisman by Vodafone was not just a business transaction, it represented a seismic shift in the global telecommunication industry, but the real work was just beginning. In the aftermath of the deal, Vodafone faced a barrage of challenges. The first was integrating Manisman's operations into its own. The two companies, despite being in the same industry, had different corporate cultures, operational processes, and market strategies. This integration was not a walk in the park. It was more akin to a high-wire act, with Vodafone delicately balancing the need to streamline operations while preserving the unique value that Manisman brought to the table. Then there was the issue of the enormous debt Vodafone had incurred in the acquisition. The company had to find ways to manage this debt without crippling its operations or compromising its growth strategy. It was a delicate balancing act, one that required not just financial acumen, but strategic foresight. On the other side of the equation, the impact on Manisman was equally profound. The company that had once been a major player in the global telecommunication industry was now a subsidiary of Vodafone. Its employees had to adapt to a new corporate culture, its customers had to adjust to a new brand, and its stakeholders had to come to terms with the new reality. But perhaps the biggest impact was on the global telecommunication industry itself. The acquisition sent a clear message. The era of consolidation had begun. Companies could no longer afford to operate in silos. To survive and thrive, they had to seek partnerships, alliances, and yes, even acquisitions. The acquisition, though monumental, was not without its share of hurdles and controversies. But it was these challenges that made the acquisition all the more remarkable. It was a testament to the tenacity of the human spirit, the audacity of ambition, and the relentless pursuit of progress. It was a story of change, of adaptation, and of evolution. The acquisition, though monumental, was not without its share of hurdles and controversies. So we've taken a journey back in time to revisit the greatest business acquisition of all time. We've delved deep into the details of the acquisition, the strategy behind it, and the aftermath. We've seen how a well-executed business deal can change the landscape of an entire industry and make history. Our journey took us back to the turn of the 21st century, to the Vodafone Manisman deal, the largest business acquisition the world has ever seen. This wasn't just a business transaction, it was a landmark event that showed us the potential of strategic acquisitions. The Vodafone Manisman deal was more than just a merger of two telecom giants. It was a symbol of the technological revolution, a testament to the power of globalization and an embodiment of the spirit of innovation. We've unpacked the meticulous planning that went into the acquisition and the strategic vision that guided it. We discovered how Vodafone, a British telecom company, successfully acquired Manisman, a German industrial conglomerate, for a staggering $182 billion. A deal of such magnitude was unheard of, and it set the bar high for future business acquisitions. We also explored the aftermath of the acquisition, how it reshaped the telecom industry and its far-reaching implications. The merger paved the way for Vodafone to become a global powerhouse in the telecom sector. It also stirred up the business world, triggering a wave of mega-mergers and acquisitions. But most importantly, we've seen how understanding business acquisitions and their implications is crucial. They're not just about numbers and financial transactions, they're about vision, strategy, and impact. They have the power to change industries, influence economies, and shape the future. While the Vodafone Manisman deal remains the largest, the world of business is dynamic, and who knows what the future holds. Until then, this remains the greatest business acquisition of all time.